This is HR, and you're listening to Good Company. Good Company! Hey guys, my name's Scott Bowling, and you're watching Good Company. Today, we have a legend, Mr. HR from Bad Brains. Bad Brains is the band I've been listening to since I was probably 18 years old. Um, I love all the early stuff, all the way up to what Quickness is one of my favorite albums, so... Thank you for being HR. Glad to be here. Such a blessing. Yes, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, kind of the format of the show mm-hmm. is I kind of go back and go through your catalog of music, and you mm-hmm. have a ton of music. Yes, sir. So every, all your friends are pretty lucky, right? Yes, sir. This, your album right here, um, Pay to Come, <laughs> Bad Brains, this is like your first uh, first time going in the studio and recording, right? Yes, this sir. Is, this is, is the beginning of Bad Brains. Yes, sir. What's it like having something like tangible, like something that's yours, that you put all your hard work in, you have something to show for it? I think that's really... Gratitude, a lot of gratitude. Yeah. Um, and I love this, um, I love this because there's two songs on there. So you have one that's just insanely fast and just aggressive, and I love it. And then you have the, the flip side is just reggae. So it's such a unique thing at the time. Was that something you guys discussed where you're like, when we put this out, we want to show both sides of what we can do? Yes, sir. That's amazing. And your brother is uh, Earl. He plays drums. Yes, sir. And so did you guys, growing up, did you guys, were you guys always playing music together? Yes, sir. That's great. And so from there, you actually go into a studio and you do your first album. Um, and songs like, wh- wh- when I first heard you, I, I, was, uh, I was a teenager and I heard Sailing On, and I thought, like, this is the coolest thing I've ever heard. Um, definitely got me hooked. Um, and then one of my all-time favorite bands, like Wright Barrigade, they cover that, Deftones. So it's like all these huge influences I have all kind of refer to you. So it's really cool. What was it like recording this album? Do you, do you have any, what do you think? It was a challenge. Was it? Yes, sir. How long did it take for something like this? Oh, it took about two days. Two days. <laughs> that's remarkable. Man, that's crazy. Um, so, go right back into it. Um, Rock for Light. So, Dave Grohl said that this album he learned from start to finish. <laughs> he said, uh, he, said uh, he learned every song on drums. You guys work with uh, Rick from the Cars. Yes, sir. What was it like meeting Rick? It was a, it was one of the most thrilling. Maybe it was a, slightly coincidental, mm. because um, the bass player Daryl had met him, while on tour with another group, but then he associated himself. Rick Ocasek had met us in Arizona, and mm. then he said that he liked to produce the group. Hmm. Yeah, was it was it intimidating being in a studio with someone like like Rick? You know, I mean, that's was there pressure at all, or is that oh, just no, a, sir? He just said to be ourselves. Did he? Yes. Sir. Oh, that's that's good. So you guys did this album, and then you went. Did you guys tour a lot? Yes, sir. We did. So, and I'm just, okay. That's that was back in '83. Wow. Mm-hmm. Big takeaway. That's, so. Kind of going on from there, this album, Eye Against Eye, mm-hmm. what a classic album. Mm-hmm. Uh, can, do you have any, can you tell me anything about this one? Yes, sir. Ron, get met Ron St. Germain, mm. and he recorded that one in about mm, four or five days. Four or five days? <laughs> yes. that, that's, that's, it's insane how fast this is. Um, I love the story, if you don't mind sharing, the sacred love when you guys... You you sang it from uh, a, didn't you have to sing it from jail or something like yes, that? Sir. <laughs> That's neat. Yes. Sir. Was there anybody around? Did you did you just do it alone? Yes, yeah. sir, I did. Yeah, I love it. It was on the phone. Which <laughs> Ron's idea? <laughs> That's great. I heard Johnny Cash has done that before. Yes, sir. <laughs> and you guys did a um, a couple of videos on this album too. Um, Eye against eye. I mean, that was I believe you guys did a video for that one. That was really cool. And also, uh, I know Sublime always covers House of Suffering, which is neat. Yeah. Yes, sir. I yes, just love sir. these big bands that, are, that um, always cover your stuff. Mm-hmm. It mm-hmm. must be a compliment. Yes, sir, it is. <laughs> okay, from here you got, um, let's see. 
did your live album. Was this your first live album? Yes, sir, it was. What's that like when they say, when you're going to play a show and they go, hey, we're going to record tonight. Do they, do they record a bunch of days in a row? Or is this a one time only? One time only. Wow. Do you like that? Or does that seem like don't mess up kind of? Yes, sir. It was, <laughs> a, it was one of those um, albums where we had to be ourselves again. And it was just a one time thing. We were in a, a place called Long Beach, California. Uh, called the Forum Theater. It was the first time we had played in San Francisco, I mean, Los Angeles, mm. California. Wow. What's that like being in a band with your brother? I mean, is that you guys get along on the road? I mean, you're spending a lot of time. <laughs> yes, sir, we do. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. So you guys did this. I don't know if I'm, I'm going to talk a couple of, about a couple of solo albums here, and I don't know if this one came right afterwards, but this is your first solo record, correct? Yes, sir. This is awesome. I love it. It has like a, an 80s kind of sound, and it sounds totally different from Bad Brains. So it's just so yes, unique. Sir. Yes, sir. Um, and the, the songs are kind of, you got a song on there that I love called uh, Life After Death. Yes, sir. And um, the ending, you just do this full, it sounds like a freestyle just rap thing where you just go in, and I love that. Do you remember recording that song? Yes, sir, I do. When you when you do um, a song like like Life After Death, do you write all the lyrics out, or is that some yes, kind of sir. freestyle? Wow! I so wrote you, the lyrics, and um, David Byers, God bless his soul, he did depart oh about f ten years ago. He, along with some friends in a group, Kimmy Muschenheim, and and uh, the drummer was my brother at the time. He helped us, and they got together and collaborated the oh, ideas wow. to the music. So when you started Bad Brains, mm -hmm. did you know from the start, I want to do a solo thing on my own and kind of venture out a little bit? Or was that, I mean, did you have that idea from the start or was it something you just kind of, after a few years of Bad Brains, you needed to kind of do your own thing for a little bit? It was uh, suggested by our manager, Anthony oh. County. Oh, okay. And you did, it seems like you did two back to back. This one wasn't far afterwards, is that right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And this one seems uh, kind of, uh, if I remember correctly, there's a couple more, a little more reggae. Yes, sir. And you love playing. I mean, what's, what was it like doing this? Oh, it was most thrilling. I had a great time recording that one in uh, not too far from here in Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, did you? Mm -hmm. Was this a couple of days too? Just. Oh, it took us about, mm, I'd say roughly about two weeks. Two weeks, wow. Mm -hmm. Was your brother playing on this one as well? Yes, sir, he was. <laughs> what's, the longest, what's the longest you've ever been in the studio for? <laughs> it seems like. Oh, I think the longest would be um, what we're recording now, about a month. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. um, after that, you have one of my favorite albums, uh, The Quickness. Mm -hmm. um, I was 18 when I got this. I heard Chino Marino from Deftones say that you were one of his favorite frontmen. So I went out and checked it out, and it was such a solid record. And I've heard you wrote the lyrics like super quick, like a couple of days. In one day. Soulcraft, I, I love that, that video. What, what was it like doing this, this album? It was happiness. Was it? Yes, sir. Everybody's kind of getting along? Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, that's great. Great album. It's one of my favorites. So, I, and then um, from here, you do. Um, I, th I don't know if this one goes. W your next solo record. I'm pretty sure. Charge. This is a great album cover, by the way. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you got like the perfect dreads going on. Do you have a, a lot of good memories from this album? Yes, sir. It was recorded on SST Records, and I had. Well, I do remember recording it and um, had a little more reggae to it. And I really wanted to experiment and try it from a different view of, uh, <clears throat> of mine. Mm -hmm. I had been in a rock and roll band, The Bad Brains, but yeah. Human Rights, our first group uh, in Human Rights, like I said, had took his time with me. And uh, David Byers suggested that I go to California and record with SST Records. So I met Greg again. He had offered me some location out in Long Beach of his to come and record with him mm. in his studio. And that's what I did. Mm. 
can you talk a little bit about soul brains? So with soul brains, I don't know too much about soul brains. So that's, it's kind of, it is bad brains, but it's not bad brains. So yes, sir. It is bad brains. And we went to Japan. Okay. And mm -hmm. you guys just did an album in Japan? Is that, or did you just tour? No, we did the album in uh, Malibu and uh, Los Angeles. Oh, good. So do you, um, oh, so the next one we'll go, so you, you took a break from Bad Brains. They did Rise, right? After Rise, you guys did, I don't have the full album right here, but I have uh, the single, but you guys did, you put out God of Love, yes, the video. Sir. Really yes, cool. Yes. What yes. was it like doing this song, um, or this album? It was amazing. I met a guy of Siri and he oh, introduced yes. us to- From Maverick. Him. Yes, sir. He introduced us to um, Phil, and some other friends of his. And uh, he asked us, would we do some work with him? And he told us that it was a label on the um, Maverick Records. And it was originally record, originally owned by Miss, um, what's her name again? Uh, Sister, I can't really remember her name. So at the she time. owned the, the the. She worked at the record company. You said? Y yes, so she owned the record Ma company. Madonna. Madonna. Yeah, that's yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, she had a, several acts, including I, I keep bringing up Deftones, uh, but they, she, they I knew they were on there, and you guys toured with them too. I think. Yes, sir. That did. was back around '95. Yes, sir. But that that's that's pretty that's pretty awesome, and take uh, being away from Bad Brains and coming back and having that kind of opportunity. <clears throat> After this. Can you talk about uh, Black Dots? So this is all your old stuff kind of put on one album? Is Thank you, yes. I had made the music, uh, a large portion of the music you um, recorded, and um, the group was different in those days than they were recently. Hmm. Yeah, you have, um, it's like you had that first single I, I see right away, Pay to Come, that's really neat. Band in DC, it's all your classic. Attitude, uh, that's a good song too. So after this, um, I don't have all your, I got some of your stuff. Actually, I wanna ask you about this right here. <laughs> I'm kinda <laughs> jumping ahead. The Scotch Bonnets. Scotch Bonnets. Bonnets. Mm -hmm. How did you hook up with these, this crew? You got the... Um, we were in Baltimore and I lived in a place called The Warehouse. Uh, originally it was a car cookie factory mm. and a friend named Pablo asked me what I, come and check out the Scotch Bonnets show. And there I met Sister Kristen, that's yeah, her yeah. on the left side, and she asked yeah. me, would I be uh, available for recording the album at a friend's name, Dave? And I said, sure, I'd love to. <laughs> so they just send you all the songs and you kind of add your twist to them? Yes, sir. <laughs> that's really neat. Uh, I do want to talk about a couple of things about you got a DVD and a book out right now. And I love how yes, all this is coming out at once. It's just, I think fans and we're all waiting. Great documentary. What's it like having a camera on you constantly? Kind of like this, but all the time. Mm, I like it. They ask you a bunch of questions and <laughs> I'm trying, who filmed this? I'm trying to think who filmed this. It was a friend named Shamusa. How, do you remember or, hooking up uh, with Mr. Them? Lagos, yes, sir. He came to me at the factory and s asked me some questions. And one of the questions was, will I be willing to put out a documentary? He was still in college and he let me know that it wasn't going to be any, uh, any uh, <clears throat> pay for me. It would just be more of a nonprofit album. And would I be willing to do it? And I said, sure, I would. He said the, um, the uh, group's uh, pay would be um, distributed by him to my sons and daughters. Oh, that's, all, that's a blessing. That's great. Yes, sir. And then with this, you also you put out a book around the same time too, right? Yes, sir. Did, were you, did you, were you kind of helping with this or do you have somebody, a ghostwriter? Yes, yes, sir. It was by um, Howard Abrams and also James uh, Lathos, who is Shmusa. And uh, they asked me would I be willing to uh, do some filming with them. We went to Jamaica and uh, 
Shamus had taken us there and then um, we went back to California and there I recorded again with some other friends and I didn't really know how many people were into me at the time <laughs> and uh, they, they were having a little segment of what was going on with some of the people and they said I had been bouncing around and they didn't really know where I lived. Mm. And uh, that was because I was so withdrawn. And um, you I just wanted, took a break. Yes, sir. And then, so after this, you and the Bad Brains go back on tour? I yes, know the sir. Bad Brains did a documentary too. Yes, sir. Was that documentary around Build a Nation? Yes, sir. Yeah, I think I'm maybe skipping one here. So, but these kind of two kind of came out very close together, it seems like. What was it like getting back together with the Bad Brains? Oh, it was thrilling. You guys are a mega force too, right? Yes, sir. So talk about that. Was that something real quick process? You guys mm -hmm. jump in and- It took us about two weeks. And uh, I wasn't playing guitar on it. I was doing oh. vocals. And guitar was Dr. No or Gary Miller, as he's known as. And he became one of the uh, major influences in the group, along with Daryl and Jennifer. Oh. who is our bass player, and they had worked, worked, been working together about 10 years. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Helping writing songs. And how, how long have you been playing guitar, though? I've seen you, uh, live videos of you playing. Um, I've been playing guitar since I was in the sixth grade. <laughs> right. Did you ever play back uh, when you first started Bad Brains, you play guitar? I mean, you were doing... Yes, sir, I did surely you? was. Mm -hmm. when, you, when you were, your first couple albums, I saw like all this stuff like where you're doing these flips and jumping around. <laughs> what, how, how do you get like, how do you do that? I mean, you just say, well, let me go for it or just... <laughs> I've been, uh, how do you say, is diving. Say something. Mm -hmm. you know? And then I went later into uh, um, high, high hurdles and pole vaulting wow. when I was in 10th grade. At first I was in 9th grade and that was in New York. And... The um, coach had asked my mother, would, it be a, uh, would I be available to go with them to the Olympics? Because he said that I was strangely, peculiarly um, gifted in diving. And she, my mother said, no, not, you can't <laughs> take my son away. You have to let him <laughs> stay with his family. And so we moved to D.C. DC, so you guys moved to DC uh, probably in the 70s. Yes, yeah. sir. Oh, that's great. And you are working on another solo album right now. Is that yes, that's sir. the one that's taking a while? What, yes, sir. What's this album going to be called? Or can you say? Yes, sir, I can. It's going to be called We Are One. We Are One. Mm -hmm. And when's this going to be available? It'll be available with any day now, as soon as possible. So are you going to have this? Um, will this be on vinyl? and? Yes, sir. It'll be on CD and available on vinyl, too. I love that vinyls are coming back now. I think that yes, sir, it I is. I kind of wish that um, artists put out cassettes again. This is nostalgic. I would buy it if it was on vinyl, cassette, do, do the whole thing. Yes, sir. I understand. Is there anything else you want to discuss? Well, the, um, the uh, response that we got from the audience was most approvable. They, they had asked me, well, what kind of music do you like to play, HR? And I said, I like to play reggae. Yeah. And they said, well, keep it up, man. <laughs> keep on playing. I was going to ask you that because, I mean, you've been playing reggae for so long now. Would you ever do like a, a fast album, like a fat, like an old school kind of bad brain sound? Yes, sir. That would be neat, too. Mm -hmm. But I love the reggae thing, so whatever makes you happy. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have a collection of different styles oh, of do music. You? Mm hmm uh, we, awesome. play a, we play a little bit of rock and roll, but mostly, mostly reggae. I'm excited to hear it. I like the, everything in, all in one. Mm -hmm. And I appreciate it. And you're on tour. You guys are going on tour also. You're yes, going to be sir. in Atlanta soon. Yes, sir. We that. will be. Next do you like month. touring? Is that it? Yes, sir, I do. I immensely like touring. Do you guys have uh, your own bus and everything? Yes, we have our own minivan. And uh, I was on tour with the Brains. We had a tour bus. That's nice. Yes. Sir. I like um I like also I like how bands are doing these VIP and stuff. Mm -hmm. Do you do you guys do that as well where you have a chance for fans can come out and shake yes. your hand and meet yes, you? Yes, sir. We have a question and answering period um, after the uh, shows. 
Where can where can fans get your your new album? Is this online? Is this on Spotify? And they can get it through the website or email. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Which my wife started. Lord, on. Mm -hmm. Lord, yeah, huge help having her on the show. Yes, <laughs> sir. So, I, but HR, I appreciate you being on the show. Right it on. Means the thank world. you. Thank, thank you. you so Glad much. to be here. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay.